we're going to make some at home LLB. Please, allow me to show you something. Good morning, welcome back to another July vlog. Today is July the 7th, so we're going, we're going. Like just yesterday, I was like, oh, it's only day six, and I'm like, well, what did I get myself into? But anyway, <laughs> so I'm having matcha and avocado toast. Yum, yum, yum. And the funny thing is, like, <laughs> when I was younger, like under 10, you could not get me to eat avocados on bread. My grandmother would make those sandwiches and I would refuse to eat it. <laughs> but the bread wasn't toasted, so I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> it was hops and avocado. But anyway, I was just telling me about um there's actually something called an avocado cake. Like, would you all try that? Have you ever tried it? The concept seems strange. I know I like avocados, but I don't know if I love it that much to so have an avocado cake. Taking it off the same will be too plumpful for much. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're welcome. You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so today I um well editing, how to edit. Um and I need to create content for SW1 crochet. But the funny thing is, right? You know you always seen them post on your Instagram, even on TikTok. Create 30 posts in how much ever um for create posts for a month in an hour or whatever and it's like use chat gpt use chat gpt so the first time chat gpt came out i went on it and i was like okay cool i just wanted to see what it was about but then i was like hey let me see okay let me see how feasible this creating content thing could be chat, chat gpt was like blocked in italy for so a little while like you could not access the site because basically the government blocked fr you from accessing it due to like something with data privacy or something so there wasn't shown the one thing so they blocked it anyway <sighs> so i went on this morning and i realized it's unblocked now this is hilarious that this is the message they had to put welcome back italy we are pleased to resume offering chat gpt in italy <laughs> so i'm gonna try to see like if it's feasible for like creating content and what it could do for me but anyway so we're gonna do that and Ciao. So we decided to head to the rest to a restaurant for lunch because we didn't really feel to cook and well today's Friday so you know um so we're going to the Chinese restaurants that is not too far from us and we're going to do the menu fiso which is the fixed menu so this is usually the only time that we do <laughs> like all the courses because as I told you all the meats are usually expensive so anyway so we'll have the Primi, well, Primi or P. Primo. <laughs> the Primo, which is like pasta, rice. Secondo, which is the meats. And then Contorno, which is, which are the sides. And it is a Chinese restaurant. They have Italian dishes, but we basically trust it because we see Italians going there. So we're like, okay, maybe we can trust them. Anyway, let's go. Ooh. Oh, four options. Fancy day. Pistecca la pizzaiola e patatine. Patatine, perfetto. Sta bene? Mezzo, mezzo di mezzo di acqua e basta niente. Um, no, 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 every no, no, Every day, they are no, 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 no,
Because I know one that we don't have to come to your video calls. Mm, back in here for some water, and I'm gonna take the San Pellegrino that is a euro less. And I Look at something I just saw, but I'm not paying six euros for that as well. Carta Fidel Cat. So that was the menu fisto and basically how Italian menus go with the primo, secondo and the contorno. Now, this really wasn't a real, it's, well, I say in really Italian restaurant, like a um, Italian restaurant or Italian cuisine where, where I say I'm out of Italians because I kind of did the unthinkable, which is something that you don't usually do so I love surf and surf surf and surf is not really something you'll find here <laughs> okay if you're surfing you're surfing if you're surfing you're surfing so I took the uh, spaghetti well they say di mare but usually some places call it spaghetti al mare or whatsoever um, which is like seafood pasta and then I took my secondo as a meat you don't usually do that. If you take like a fish related dish, you will stick within fish. So then you'll do your secondo as maybe shrimp, which is gambari, or um, pesce, which is fish. But the type of fish that they had was the merlozo or whichever. But I really wasn't feeling the fish, fish. So I took a meat, but the meat really wasn't all that. Um, it was okay, but yeah. Uh, so yeah that was the italian lunch i finally finished wash day um i decided to go in and blow dry my hair so i kind of just re-wet it um put on some of my heat protectants and blow dried it uh well tried to flat iron it because in the front here you can definitely see it's kind of like reverting a bit <laughs> reverting being that i tried to press it out but it's hot so i've been sweating but yeah so um flat iron it and i cut my hair because as i said my hair was frustrating me so no <laughs> it's not relaxed today i didn't relax my hair i just um load it out and flat iron it i have so this i can't tell but like I definitely have like at least two to three, no, not two, maybe I feel like at least two inches of new growth. I still have not decided what I'm going to do with my hair, but yeah, so it's like this for now. I'm happy, relatively happy with the cut. I probably took off like three to four inches um but yeah i think like this length here works for me any longer i don't know it looks weird even if it like weaves and stuff i find like hair looks good like if it it can't be like a weird mid-length hair it needs to be like longer like 18 to 22 like 18 to 22 also the press-ons they're still on but they're definitely ready to come off so this is day three and they're still on I'm still scratching and i just wash it 
yeah so this is day three and it's still on but now i'm gonna take it off <laughs> so some of them i don't know i don't have the kits with me but you could use the kids girl stick that came in the press on kit and like oh it's glue still sticking maybe i might still need to do the warm water Ooh. I want to reuse this, I don't want to mash it up. I might still need to soak my hand in warm water. Like. And then what I'll do, I'll just scrape off any glue that remains in the nail and then I'll scrape off um, any glue from my fingers. Yo, don't do like me. If you're using the adhesive, do soak it in warm soapy water and then do this. This glue Barry came up with the best idea ever. We're gonna make some at home LL glue. So all you need is a cup, maybe ice. You don't need ice, but I'm just putting ice. Maybe that's enough. <laughs> ice. Some Agastura bitters. We bought this from home. How much for bitters in here? Like $50. Are you sure. Belle. Oh, it was Belle, it was. No, it was um. Yes, it's Belle. When they say don't put a website or anything. It's stupid. Like if you want to know the price, you can just go. Anyway, and Sprite because Sprite is like a lime drink, right? So. Sprite. Pour that in your cup. Oh! Too excited. Pour that in your cup. Pour it in your cup. Pour it in your cup. Pour it in your cup. It's the first time I'm making it. I didn't see when I make it, so I need some instruction. Anyway. Then, I'm going to take an Angostura Bitters original. Aromatic butters. How much dashes? Two. Well, the LLB does be real light though. One, two, ooh. 
Three. Okay, let me do three. Mix it up. Like I think this is the color that it looks in the tin, but since you're making your own, you can make it how you want it. So I just want to add like one, two. And you can spice it up if you want. <laughs> add some additional spices, but I'm good here. Mm, that was it. This is it. And just like that, maybe this is the color, I don't know. But just like that, at home, LLB. Okay, I want to try something crazy. This is the orange bitters. Boom, boom, boom. I forget this one have no color. Maybe it's more so the flavor. Ah. I wonder. See, I wonder, like, okay. See, it's like how other stories be like, they are. Um, Oh my God, how much is it? 200. 200? Yeah. Price, my house is 473, so it's 695. Bro. Yeah. That's real expensive here then. Well, yeah, but it's only made from shit from Trinidad. But no, but just I was asking, right? Like, because you know, Angostura, they say their recipe is like a secret or whatever, right? Yeah. So it doesn't never really see all the recipes, but you know, well, here yeah, you're supposed to like say what's in it, but I realize they have the thing, but it still didn't specify to just say spices yeah. and natural aromas. So, like, do they have like a something that they say that we cannot say what we have in our all the listed ingredients?